Let's talk about arterial stiffness and vitamin D. Now, normally, your arterial system, your blood vessels, should be highly elastic. You want them to be able to expand and contract. This keeps your blood pressure in check. It keeps your heart healthy and also prevents strokes. The stiffer the arteries, the harder the heart has to work, and then the blood pressure starts going up. And there was a very interesting study, which I'll put a link down below, first of its kind, randomized clinical trial over the course of four months, just using 4,000 IUs of vitamin D3. That's not very much. Personally, I would recommend 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3, and I'm gonna, I'll tell you why in a little bit. This was performed on young, overweight, or obese, vitamin D deficient African Americans. And what they found at the end of the study was there was a significant decreased stiffness just within four months. So if the person had high blood pressure, it's gonna bring it down to a normal range. So what is it about vitamin D that helps elasticity of your arteries? Well, the major cause of stiffness in the arteries is this right here, inflammation. And vitamin D is one of the most potent natural anti-inflammatories. It will drop inflammation if you have back pain or any type of arthritis. It's very effective. And it also will drop inflammation in your arteries, making the arteries more elastic. So as a part of a protocol, vitamin D is essential. Vitamin D3, personally, I know it says 4,000 there. I would bump this up to 10,000 I use at least. If, it, if you have a major problem, I'd probably even bring it up higher. But vitamin D is a very powerful natural anti-inflammatory. The other thing I'm going to recommend is adding vitamin K2. Why? Because vitamin K2 has everything to do with keeping calcium out of the wrong place. It reduces the formation of calcium within the arteries. It also reduces calcium in the joints, and it keeps the calcium in the bone. The combination of these two are essential. Now, what would be the ratios? For every 10,000 I use of D3, I would recommend a hundred micrograms of K2. That would be the ratio. So if you bump this up to 20,000, 200 micrograms of K2. The second thing I would recommend is fasting. I'll put down below some really fascinating research on the relationship between fasting and arterial stiffness. Fasting can make your arteries very elastic. And so fasting combined with vitamin D is a very effective weapon against hypertension. And then of course, keto, the ketogenic diet. Why? Because when you lower the insulin levels, you support elasticity. When you do high carb, you create inflammation inside your vessels, and that's going to create stiffness. So you'd want to go low carb. And also, going low carb will fix something called insulin resistance. And if you have insulin resistance, which occurs basically in a pre-diabetic as well as in diabetes type 2, having that condition will prevent you from absorbing vitamin D3. So the reason why people are vitamin D deficient could be because they just don't have enough exposure to sun. They're not outside hardly at all. Uh, they might have a fatty liver or liver damage, or they might have a gallbladder problem or no gallbladder at all. You need the bile from the gallbladder that's produced by the liver to be able to break down vitamin D3 so you can absorb it. Also, I already mentioned insulin resistance. Okay, so that can inhibit your absorption of vitamin D3. Also, the older you get, the less vitamin D you can absorb. The more you weigh, the more fat you have on your body, the less vitamin D you're going to get as well. And of course, if you don't consume enough fatty fish, you're not going to get vitamin D. Vitamin D is very difficult to get from the diet at all. So this is why the majority of the population is deficient in vitamin D. But if you have high blood pressure or have a history of heart problems or even a stroke or you want to prevent it, make sure these three things are implemented in your life. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying my content, which I hope you are, and you're applying this knowledge to your health, and you have a success, I'd really appreciate you sharing your success story. So click the link down below to my website where you can upload your success story so you can help inspire others.